Bergman suffered from bipolar and generalized anxiety disorders, which she hid from her family, friends, and co-stars. When her mother was diagnosed with cancer, Bergman's depression was mistaken as a reaction to her mother's illness along with job-related stress. Andrade said that he found herbal mood medications that Bergman had hidden in their home. Bergman had privately confessed to her husband that she was afraid of losing her talent, as sessions were not going well, she was concerned that people would feel that her talent had gone, and that her career would come to an end. Andrade later regretted Bergman told nobody about her distress. As time went by, Bergman's fears seemed to lessen as her mother was doing better. Bergman and her husband were also making plans to buy a new house within a year, but she still suffered physically. Because of this, Bergman and her husband decided to have an elaborate vacation in Las Vegas, which they had planned a week before her death. On the morning of November 11, 1999, Bergman contributed to a radio show celebrating Disneyland's 45th anniversary. She was last seen alive at 9 p.m., while she was talking to a friend on the phone. An hour and 20 minutes later, her husband and his friend, John Bell, returned home to find that she had shot herself with a Mossberg 12-gauge shotgun. She was pronounced dead by police at 10.18 p.m. The film Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders, 2000, and the South Park episode Starvin' Marvin in Space were dedicated to her memory.